baby foods. We'll be talking more about this, but be sure to interact with us on our social media handles at White54 channel on Twitter, White54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White54 on Facebook. Karibu sana, Sharon Degu. Thank you so much. How are you today? I'm fine. Great. And uh, yes, your camera is number four. Okay. Uh, so I'd like to give people a chance to just introduce themselves, okay. uh, just in case I miss anything. Okay. Um, okay. So just look them straight into the eyes uh, and talk to them. Okay. So my mm -hmm. name is Sharon Degwa, mm -hmm. and I'm a mother of two kids. Mm -hmm. uh, my background is in agricultural economics, mm -hmm. but right now I'm focusing on uh, nutrition for kids. Mm -hmm. And my children are the inspiration uh, behind that all. Mm -hmm. So basically, I founded Nature's Bowl. Mm -hmm. and what what we do at Nature's Bowl is we support moms to raise healthy kids. Mm -hmm. Currently we are doing that through a range of nutritious porridge flour mixes. Mm -hmm. These porridge flour mixes can also be used by adults. Mm -hmm. Yeah, So that's what uh, I'm focusing on right now. Alright, so you help moms to do what again? I help moms to raise healthy kids All right, through so nutrition. Alright, so let me just talk to my mom for a bit. Uh, Yes, you're being helped to raise a healthy kid here. <laughs> so today she's come bearing gifts and I'm about to taste some of the best and nutritious porridge right here. From the 254. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, let me serve you some as well. Thank you. So yeah, uh, I've been training in uh, a background in agricultural economics. Yes. All right. Yeah. So this was not the inspiration to start this business. No, this was not it. Uh -huh. What uh, were you doing after after graduating? So after graduating, uh -huh. um, I found a job working in the mm -hmm. uh, NGO sector. Mm -hmm. I was working in an organization called Pico Eastern Africa, and what we we worked on there basically mm -hmm. we were focusing on uh, agricultural development and mm -hmm. organizational development. Mm -hmm. And so as a program officer, I was supporting different projects that would help uh, uplift mm -hmm. uh, organizations and mm -hmm. rural institutions in order for them to perform their work better. All right. Yes. So you've always been working in the food industry. You're uh, passionate about feeding the nation. Yeah, yeah basically the <laughs> food, the agricultural chain. Yeah, the so agricultural I chain. Yeah, I started at the uh, bottom of the chain, uh -huh. but now I'm working towards the manufacturing side. Towards the manufacturing side. Yes. All right, so uh, coming from a place where you're trying to support uh, local farmers with very minimal knowledge and mm -hmm. modern ways of doing agriculture mm -hmm. and uh, moving mm -hmm. into manufacturing. Mm -hmm. uh, how has it been? Okay. All right. Uh -huh. it, it has been a learning journey because um, actually this was a new field for me. Mm -hmm. So I learned uh, a lot through interacting with um, experts in the food sector, mm -hmm. uh, interacting with people who have done food science mm -hmm. and working with pediatricians who know a lot about uh, nutrition based on uh, when it comes to children. Mm -hmm. And uh, also I went through an, a training course in nutrition at AMREF mm -hmm. and that has supported me to be able to understand my uh, clients' needs mm -hmm. and what baby is actually need to so have what I'm getting from you knowledge yeah. is very important it is as very much as important. you had training in agricultural yeah. economics yes. you had to focus on this particular yeah, thing I had to focus on this and also a lot of interaction uh, mm -hmm. talking to experts really helps mm -hmm. talking to my potential customers mothers mm -hmm. they also have uh, a lot to input on what they feel is good for their kids so it's important to also talk to our customers as business people all right, so yeah. people don't know where your inspiration to start this came uh -huh. from. Uh -huh. All right, just paint a picture for them. Okay. How do you end up uh, creating nutritious baby food? Okay, mm -hmm. so um, I'll give a background story to how mm -hmm. I ended up here. Mm -hmm. So um, when I became a first-time mother, I was quite mm -hmm. excited to begin weaning. Mm -hmm. uh, but then a few weeks down the line, things took a downturn because uh, mm -hmm. my baby and I were constantly in hospital for issues such as constipation. Mm -hmm. And I, when I went to hospital, everything pointed towards the kinds of foods that I was feeding my baby mm -hmm. and uh, therefore of course I felt quite low and I felt inadequate as a mother uh -huh. and this so, happens to a lot of mothers yes, by the it, way it mm. happens to a lot of mothers mm -hmm. and so uh, when I got my second born uh, about one and a half years later mm -hmm. I was quite prepared I had done my research I had uh, looked you into said this time I'm getting yeah, it right this, uh, yeah. <laughs> I said this time I'm not going to let this baby mm -hmm. down I'm going to work on it mm -hmm. and so I did my research and by the time my baby came I had developed a range of flowers mm -hmm. and actually Actually, my mother-in-law is the one who supported me in developing this because mm -hmm. she would come uh, to visit me from the rural areas with different types of flowers mm -hmm. and we would mix and experiment. Mm -hmm. And so this
this time round I was lucky um, uh, I had things that worked for me mm -hmm. and uh, I would cook these porridges and all these food then post them on social media and my mm -hmm. friends would uh, express interest mm -hmm. and new customers people who I had not known before mm -hmm. and then I realized that there's a, actually a need for this mm -hmm. and uh, now I'm working towards fulfilling that need for moms all right yeah. so uh, you figured there's a need for this what yeah. was the next step you took Okay. from mixing it with mom, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, mother-in-law at home, uh -huh. uh, to now going out there and okay. getting it packaged and okay. now you can actually okay. sell it okay. and you're actually yeah. selling it for sure. Okay. Mm. So because uh, my intention is mm. actually to go big and to build an empire that can make uh, impact uh, to moms all across Africa, I decided mm -hmm. to take the next big step and just look at how I can get this uh, accredited and certified by the mm -hmm. government. So I approached Kebs mm -hmm. and they sent me for a training in food production at an mm -hmm. institution. So called many trainings yeah. involved, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, you <laughs> have, to, you have <laughs> to learn all these things. So they sent me for a training in food production mm -hmm. at the Kenya Industrial Research and Development Institute. Mm -hmm. So this is an agriculture, uh, it's a government institution and they support small scale manufacturing manufacturers by giving them uh, the knowledge and the machinery in order for them to be able to process their mm -hmm. their products. So I went there for a training mm -hmm. and now uh, I normally do my production there. This exists there, yeah. in Nairobi? Yeah, it does. In, this it does. in South Sea. In, in South, South Sea. On, yeah, on so they incubate uh, manufacturers, manufacturers yeah, or manufacturers. startups that are involved yes. in manufacturing yes. and they help them yeah. uh, uh, with the equipment with the equipment mm -hmm. and they also help you to be able to develop uh, the product mm -hmm. because there are some standards that are required for certain food products in Kenya mm -hmm. and you get them at Kebs mm -hmm. so Kebs collaborates with Kirdi mm -hmm. and they uh, help m small manufacturers upcoming manufacturers to mm -hmm. be able to produce something of a high standard just as mm -hmm. a big manufacturer would be able to all right so yeah. process processing goes down here mm -hmm. research goes down here as well yes processing and research yes all right, uh, this is the first time I'm hearing about this thing. Okay. All right, so uh, how did you get to know about such things? Kebs okay. led you to this place. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, basically it's about uh, my hunger to, to grow bigger. Mm -hmm. So because of my hunger, I would take each step and look at how I can go to the next level. So through this, uh, mm -hmm. I would uh, research and find out that yeah, in, if I need to do this, if I need to go into supermarkets, I have mm -hmm. to go to through this process first. Mm -hmm. So when I g go to Kebs, for instance, they will tell me, no, you have to go back for training. Mm -hmm. So it was basically a back and forth. Mm -hmm. You take two steps forward, you have to go back for a training, you mm -hmm. move forward again, you have to go for another training. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's it's been a long journey, mm -hmm. but it has been worth it because those trainings support me to be able to provide the best for our customers. Have you ever got to a point where you said, uh, to help with this, I'm just going to mix flour for my <laughs> children? <laughs> no, 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 no. no. no uh, mm -hmm. My, in my, my kind of personality, I'm a person who does not give up. I cannot give up. So uh -huh. when I am focused on doing something, mm -hmm. I do it till Is this end. a trait you'd yeah. urge entrepreneurs to have yeah, or people a, with startups? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Every entrepreneur has mm -hmm. to have this trait because there are so many hurdles along the way. Mm -hmm. uh, hurdles in terms of, uh, say, finances. If you don't have finances, you have to find an alternative way of doing what you needed to do, maybe mm -hmm. in a smaller scale. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there are so many hurdles along the way. And if you want to give up, mm -hmm. then you Entrepreneurship not is not for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm really enjoying my porridge here right now. So be sure to interact with us. Oh, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> so be sure to interact with us on White Five Channel on Twitter, White Five Four underscore Channel on Instagram, and White Five Four on Facebook. Sharon Dago is in the studio with us, and she is the CEO of Nature's Bow. Correct. All right, and you specialize in nutritious foods for children. Yes. Or for kids. Yes. All right, so White Five Four underscore Channel on Instagram, White Five Four underscore Channel on Twitter, White Five Four Channel on Twitter. And right by four on Facebook. Hashtag is why in the morning. Hashtag is entrepreneurship Tuesday. All right. So uh, up to this point, mm -hmm. you've come up with uh, you have four. Yes, I have four different product mm -hmm. ranges, and the reason why we have this is because we are looking to bring fun back in porridge. Mm -hmm. So we feel that it's not fair for a child to be subjected to the same porridge mm -hmm. for years and years. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, when the needs are yeah, different. Yeah, the needs are also at different. At every age yeah, bracket, yeah, yeah, and the uh, digestion capability is different. Mm -hmm. So we the have, most important yeah, thing. Yes, <laughs> the thing so, that got you to this point. Yes, All right. so we have different flowers for different age groups, mm -hmm. and uh, basically it's for us to be able to give uh, kids something that they will be able to digest quite easily mm -hmm. and get enough nutrition from it. All right, yeah. so uh, one, this first one has uh, her sorghum, millet, and amaranth. Yes. 
All right, how do you even come up with such a, <laughs> such a recipe? It's, yeah. it's all about trial and testing. Trial and so testing. So when, when I began uh, thinking about this uh -huh. business, at first I had about 10 different types of flowers. Mm -hmm. And I would just mix them and test them and uh, share them with my customers mm -hmm. for testing. Mm -hmm. But at the end of it all, I realized that these four are the ones that uh, I really needed out there. Mm -hmm. And so I narrowed down from the number that I started with to mm -hmm. four. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. But in future, maybe we can get back to... Maybe other products. It doesn't have to be flowers because uh -huh. my my main goal is to make sure that we support moms to raise healthy kids through food. Through food. So it does not have to be flour. Uh -huh. Maybe in future we'll do something else that is. So moms better. can think of other yeah. things. Yes. And then nature's ball will can sort that out. will sort out the nutrition yes. aspect yes. of raising a kid. Yes. Amazing. So what is amaran <laughs> in the first place? Okay. So I'll explain to you in the local term terere. Uh -huh. You know terere. Terere. The terere, I'm a big fan, uh, yeah. terere vegetable. Uh -huh. So the terere plant has some seeds in mm -hmm. it so those seeds are what is called amaranth that's what is mm -hmm. called amaranth here yeah. so uh, what is the nutritious value uh, amaranth is rich in protein mm -hmm. it's it's a very strong plant protein mm -hmm. and proteins for kids uh, is quite uh, important because it helps in the development uh, of their bodies mm -hmm. so as we've seen um, it helps them grow yeah, yeah uh -huh. it helps them to grow mm -hmm. so we've seen that uh, in the past moms have really focused on giving their kids carbohydrates mm -hmm. uh, because maybe they don't have the information that protein is really important. Mm -hmm. So at Nature's Bowl, besides helping our moms by providing them the right types mm -hmm. of products, we also give them information on the kinds of foods that their kids need. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the amaranth fly is really rich in protein. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So uh, when it comes to the to food production mm -hmm. and uh, say food that is sold to the to the public. Yes. Uh, it's the people who do it in mass that dominate the market, yeah. Yes. We have the big corporates yes. uh, that produce a lot, all kinds of unga around here, yeah. uh, from wheat to maize mm -hmm. flour. Mm -hmm. uh, getting into this, I'm pretty sure you were kind of scared of them. Yeah, at, at first mm -hmm. I was, but I realized that there's a market for everyone. Mm -hmm. And the reason why people buy uh, something from person A and not person B mm -hmm. is not really about the product, mm -hmm. but there's an additional value. It mm -hmm. could be the customer service. Uh -huh. It could be you as a person, how mm -hmm. you're handling that customer. Uh -huh. It's just basically how that customer feels. Uh -huh. So I used to be so threatened, additional now, value. Yeah, uh -huh. the additional value. What mm -hmm. more is the customer getting from you? Mm -hmm. uh, we are working on um, experiential marketing where our customers really get to interact with us mm -hmm. and we work with them through the journey. We are not mm -hmm. throwing a product in their lap and going mm -hmm. or putting it on a shelf and asking them okay go pick that mm -hmm. and bye bye we want to know who you are mm -hmm. what your challenges are mm -hmm. how can we support you through this mm -hmm. is there anything else that nature's ball can do for you to mm -hmm. help you to raise a healthier baby mm -hmm. yeah so it's just additional value so you get feedback from your clients as oh, well we do we do because right. uh, we focus a lot on social media mm -hmm. through which uh, that's how we communicate with our customers mm -hmm. and that's how we sell so we get a lot of feedback from mm -hmm. them and we also interact with them on whatsapp and we also interact on calls All right Yes. So this feedback helps you know uh, where to improve yes, and uh, what works for what kinds of babies and, and everything definitely, else. Definitely, definitely. Uh -huh. The most important part is for us to know our clients. Mm -hmm. It's important for us to know them. All right. Yeah. What is your biggest client base? Uh, Describe them. Okay. demographic right right now i'm working with individual moms mm -hmm. uh, i have a customer base of about 300 mothers and i'm mm -hmm. looking to grow that mm -hmm. so uh, one way through which we will do that is uh, through promoting um, an e-commerce uh, platform where moms can also come and buy mm -hmm. so that means that moms all over kenya and across africa can actually buy and products buy. yeah even and in it can be delivered yes it can be delivered all right so the farm yeah. produce the raw materials uh, mm -hmm. they produce locally yeah they're locally produced raw uh -huh. materials uh -huh. uh, the reason why we are going this way is because we want to give a mother what mm -hmm. her mother or her grandmother would give her back in the village. Mm -hmm. We are not looking at fancy uh, new ingredients from maybe some other country mm -hmm. and importing and doing so that. So what your so mom are, was yeah, raised on, yeah, what, you're taking what, it back What there. you were raised on mm -hmm. by your mom mm -hmm. is what we are giving you. What your and grandmother what my would mom send was raised you on. from Siaya uh -huh. would send you from Siaya. That's what we are giving our moms here in the uh -huh. urban areas quite easily. Right. But now we have 
have done quite a lot of research and product development and improvement to mm -hmm. make sure that it's of a better quality. Right. Yeah, because the knowledge back then was mm -hmm. not as sophisticated as it is now. Mm -hmm. So, so we right have now you know the, the ratios. Quality. We know the ratios mm -hmm. and we know, we also pre-cook pre our products. That's mm -hmm. something that is not done maybe in the rural areas. Mm -hmm. And we know that pre-cooking adds value and helps the uh, baby to be able to digest it quite easily. All right. Yes. Very important. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, you also you also want to carry on with the culture. You, of you also, course, uh -huh. of course. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, back in the olden days, the way mm -hmm. people used to live, people were healthy and they used to live long. Mm -hmm. It's because probably of the kinds of lifestyle that they had and the foods that they ate. Mm -hmm. So we are working on promoting that food. And our tagline for Nature's Bowl is Start Right. Uh -huh. So we are looking at supporting moms to start right from the beginning and mm -hmm. instill healthy eating behaviors in their kids just from the start. All right. Yeah. Out of all these things you've told me, I can tell uh, that you've got every aspect mm -hmm. of selling a product, right? From mm -hmm. the branding, you have a tagline, the, the packaging is nice. Mm -hmm. uh, you're mm -hmm. moving like a big corporate when mm -hmm. you're just going up the ladder right now. Mm -hmm. How have you learned all these things? Okay. Over time? Um, it's you might see me now right now mm -hmm. and think that I know everything or mm -hmm. I just know everything. You're yet but it to took, learn a lot, also. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it took time for me to understand this. Uh, what has helped me is uh, um, interacting with specialists, mm -hmm. yeah. Like, for instance, as I told you, when I was developing this, I was uh, in communication and in partnership with some nutritionists and mm -hmm. food scientists. Mm -hmm. Something else that has helped me to be able to develop my brand is um, working with uh, institutions mm -hmm. that provide. Uh, business mentorship mm -hmm. yeah so they've been able to help me to develop my business model yeah mm -hmm. so uh, doing business uh, as usual the way we have done it in the past is not sustainable mm -hmm. but now I've been able to understand that uh, I need to build systems and mm -hmm. I need to build a team through which I can grow an empire mm -hmm. so being in incubation programs that are mm -hmm. focused on uh, new businesses has mm -hmm. been able uh, has been able to help me to identify the path that I need to take all right so in summary don't give up. Don't give up. Be hungry for information. <laughs> yes. And have something unique that you want to do. Yes. Have All something right. The big question uh, that is coming. My director tells me mm -hmm. uh, you've said you're working with the moms. Yes. You know what I'm about to ask. Uh -huh. <laughs> Where are the dads? <laughs> <laughs> well, <it does. laughs> you know, um, the, the dads are also involved, by mm -hmm. the way, and let me tell you how I've seen it in my business, how mm -hmm. the dads are involved. Mm -hmm. When I interact with the moms, the dads are the ones who are being sent to go and pick, <laughs> the, <laughs> to go and pick right. the flower. Mm -hmm. But we have some dads who are also on our customer list, mm -hmm. and we educate them also and support them in order for them to be able to know what's good for their children. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the, the dads are also part of our focus. So even your yeah. forums and your WhatsApp groups, are in there, you, the dads are invited they're invited yes, right. they yes. should not as feel like as, as long as they can uh, tolerate how much women talk <laughs> <laughs> so you appreciate that back. <laughs> all right please share with them your social media handles and how okay. they can get uh, a hold of you online and how they can get to order and how they can just get some tips from you being okay. somebody with experience okay your camera is number four okay so in order for you to be able to reach nature's bowl and to mm -hmm. be able to get education about how to feed your kids in a healthy manner mm -hmm. and also to be able to access our products please follow us at nature's ball ke mm -hmm. on all social media handles that's uh, instagram mm -hmm. twitter and facebook mm -hmm. and then if you want to make a direct order our number is 0721 839604 and mm -hmm. then we also have a website. You can find us at nature's ball dot range dot co dot ke Thank you very much for coming through to White in the morning. Thank you too. Uh, your last remarks to the moms who are watching and the dads. Okay. <laughs> the, the dads so, that are involved. <laughs> So uh, uh, our, our last uh, uh, remark from Nature's Bowl to mm -hmm. them is that you're not alone. You mm -hmm. don't have to be alone. Mm -hmm. There are people who have gone through what you're about to go through. Mm -hmm. You don't have to suffer alone. Mm -hmm. uh, follow us and uh, we'll be able to support you in order to enjoy the motherhood journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can be pleasant. The motherhood journey can be pleasant. Yes. All right, it, it doesn't have to be scary. Thank you very much for coming. Mm -hmm. uh, we appreciate you so much. Keep doing thank what you, you're doing. Thank you. And I'm looking forward to seeing Nature's Bowl at the Nairobi Stock Exchange. You will. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, we have come to the end of this segment. We still have a lot lined up for you on this particular Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch that down.